on this lovely afternoon. Feeling good? Yeah. Awesome, that is great to hear. Now, by the way, my name is Shawal and welcome to the Kings of the Sky show. The beds of prey have captivated men with the strength, speed and agility. And during the show, you will get to see some of these birds flying all around this arena and some of them right by you. But before all that can take place, we will need your help. And when the birds are flying really low above you, please do not try to reach out or touch them. And this is for your safety and for the bird safety as well. And also, please refrain from standing up or walking around during the show. You might distract the other audience. At any point of time, if you believe that a bird is flying low or towards your direction, please remember to duck or move away. This is to prevent obstructing the bird's flight path. And most importantly, no eating throughout the show. Our birds are very curious. They might decide to come down and share your snacks with you. Oh so all you need to do is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Right, and we all know we're still in the midst of the pandemic, so remember to wear your mask at all times, and of course to practice social distancing throughout your journey right here in the Jerome Bird Park. Right, and I would like to thank everyone here, all right, for coming down as we celebrate Jerome Bird Park's 50th birthday. So thank you so much for your support for the past 50 years and we hope that you remain stay with us in the future as we move to Monday. So let's give yourself a big round of applause. Thank you so much everyone. Okay, so before we can start the show, let me just check with everyone. Has everyone checked in into your respective zones? Yes or no? Yeah. Awesome. Alright, so with that said, are we all set for the show? Alright, the turkey boxes can be found from the tip of Canada all the way down to the tip of South America. They are the most numerous vulture species in the world, numbering way over 10 million in the wild. These birds act as smoke signals. By flying low, it means they have picked up the stench of rotting meat. Right, now big birds like the king vultures, which lack this unique ability, will follow the turkey vultures' lead. But it will be the job of those big vultures to tear open the top carcasses, because turkey vultures' beaks are not strong enough to do the job. Right, one last look at Titan right here as he makes his way back to his trainer. Off he goes, ladies and gentlemen, our turkey vulture. Awesome! Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, right, we have seen birds that are able to hunt for themselves. But our next bird has the capability to forage forest floors for food as well. So, before he comes up, we're going to make sure that the stage is all set up and ready for him. So as you can see, I'm laying out a few rocks on one side. And in the middle, there will be a pile of leaves. Now, on the boulder right there, I'll be placing Three bucks. Now, in addition to all these items, I will be hiding pieces of food underneath some of it. Right. So these pieces of food represents the praise that these birds go after. The praise like worms or even insects. So I'm gonna skip the leaves, go straight to the rocks right here. You go hide a few pieces of food underneath the rocks as well. And. Awesome, I'm done. So I'm going to quickly keep the basket back inside. Okay, that's a lot of work for me. But I'm all set and ready. So everyone, let's put our hands together and welcome Raul, our Southern Karakara. Right away, Raul. Right, good afternoon to you. The Southern Karakara can be found in South America. Look at him go. Okay, well known for their foraging habits. These birds are very opportunistic. Now they have long legs and black claws which enables them to overturn the rocks easily so well done are you uh good with the rocks okay <laughs> let's move on to the leaves raul there you go and look at him sweeping the leaves aside to look for more food so were you able to find anything there no not to worry raul let's move on to the tree bucks then and look at him oh using his beak to lift the tree buck up to check for any 
food underneath it. There you go, he got all of it. All right. So if the insect were to take off and fly, these birds are able to make vertical flights into the air to catch it, just like that. Oh, he almost got it, come on, Raul. There you go. All right, but that's low. Let's give him a bit more challenge. We will try higher. So here we go, Raul. An amazing jump there, well done. Thank you. All right. And by the way, Southern Caracas are the largest of all Caracas. And Raul here has been with us for quite some time. In fact, he is already 30 years old. That's right. Okay, Raul, you've done your job. It is time for you to head back inside. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, now Southern Caracara. Thank you. All right. Makes it as if they are wearing a hood. That is how they got the name, the Hooded Vulture. All right, so Hazel, would you like to join me once again on stage? Excellent fly there. By the way, Hooded Vultures are critically endangered in the wild. Not many of them left. Now, these birds are threatened by a lot of factors in the wild, such as deforestation, poaching, and poisoning. So we need to do our part to bring awareness regarding the importance of vultures right here, okay? Hazel, I believe you have done well, and it is time for you to head back home, all the way right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Hazel, our hooded vulture from Africa. Thank you so much. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, earlier on I mentioned that birds of prey are known to be agile and maneuverable. So we are going to test that out. So right here with me, I have a stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skewer a piece of food at the end of this stick, just like this. And we shall see how bird of prey try to snatch this piece of food. Now gentle reman reminder once again, please do not try to reach out and touch the bird. Alright, looks like we're all set and ready. So everyone, let's meet Rado. And here he comes, look at him. A great snatch there, well done. Now for those of you who missed it, not to worry, we shall do this once again. So where is Rado? Oh, he's making a big appearance from the back and flying across and went back in all right not to worry okay we shall see oh he's coming back from the front and oh dear rado don't leave me hanging out here alone you know what i believe rado is very shy today maybe he needs more of his friends to join us not to worry because now rado will now be joined by his team now Ramani, Kai, take a look right at the back, here they are! Okay, so it means that let's do something different. I'm gonna throw five pieces of food high up in the air and let's see how many of those uh, food can these birds get, right? So let me just get into position. Here we go. Looks like they're very eager. Let's not wait any longer, number one! That was a great catch! Okay, the wind is starting to pick up. And number two, did they get that? No, not too sure, alright. So not to worry. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to throw, throw for them in this wind. Oh, number two! Oh, awesome catch there. In the centre, three! Doing good so far. You cannot be. Right. Okay, I believe there's one uh, one of the kites in the center. All right, keep your eyes on him. Let me just get his attention. And here we go. Number four. That was impressive. Excellent. Okay, final throw. Okay, let me see if I can do a really high throw. Here we go. And Amazing catch, and ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for our Brahmini Kai! Wow, that was amazing! Alright, so in the meantime, let me tell you more about the birds. They are the Brahmini Kai, can be found throughout Southeast Asia and in some parts of Australia as well. Now, some of you might be thinking, these birds look very familiar. Have seen them in Singapore before. Absolutely right. They are actually a local 
bit of prey. And the habitat includes rivers, lakes, and any other water body. The popular side will be in Sungai Buloh. And because where they can be found, they may be important to us because they provide the same message as Hazel as well. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we shall continue. joining us on stage and let me introduce all of them to you all right the small brown ones are the scenarius vultures and they can be found in africa europe and asia and the two lovely ladies right there are the marble stalks also known as the old man stalk now take a look at them you will know why in fact all these birds coexist together in the wild when they are feeding on a huge carcass just like the one you see right there. The vultures are very important birds to the environment. They help reduce the spread of contagious diseases by feeding on carcasses. And that is why they are also known as nature's cleanup crew. Unfortunately, some of them are rapidly declining in the wild. For example, apart from the hooded vultures, the scenarius vultures are near threatened. Now, as for the Asian vulture species, the Slenderville, Red-Headed, and the White Rump vultures are facing extinction as well. Now, in countries such as India and Cambodia have officially banned the distribution and use of battery medicine containing diclofenac, a substance which poses a fatal risk to vultures. However, this is not enough because vultures are still threatened by two other main factors, and that is poaching and deliberate poisoning. So we need to continue to do our part to bring awareness regarding the importance of vultures and to prevent them from being extinct in the wild. And with that everyone, after having seen all these birds of prey flown here today, now I'm sure all of you would agree that they certainly deserve and merit the title, The Kings of the Sky! Gentlemen, thank you very much. So we have come to the end of the show, right? My clicks are in position. They will be giving you the cues to allow everyone to exit the arena in a safe and orderly manner. We're going to start from one row at a time and starting from zone A2, alright? So on your way out, do remember to check for your belongings and do not leave anything behind. Now, for the rest of you who are still waiting for your turn, right? Do not worry, but be Seek your cooperation, please be patient. In the meantime, enjoy the birds when they're still out here. Right, once again, I hope you enjoy your day right here in the Jerome Park. Thank you so much and goodbye. <laughs>